SoFi CEO Anthony Noto surprised many investors by the things he said in the company's latest quarterly conference call with Wall Street analysts. That's especially surprising because of how SoFi's management team, including the CEO, forecasted 2024. They were very pessimistic and cautious about 2024 coming into the year with interest rates near record highs and consumer spending concerning job growth decreasing. The company took a cautious tone for 2024, forecasting that they would decrease lending and that lending revenue would fall by at least 5% in 2024. So this change is quite noticeable here from SoFi, and I wanted to share it with you here. So let's take a look at what the CEO said that might be pretty shocking to many SoFi investors and shareholders. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. So the CEO said that overall, we're making incredible progress in our shift towards more fee-based capital light and lower risk revenue sources. So fee-based revenue made up $174 million or one-fourth of their adjusted net revenue in Q3. And this grew by 65% year over year. Also, the company, driven by a record quarter in their loan platform business, which totaled $56 million in fee-based revenue, which was up by more than 5x, as well as strong growth in interchange, which was up by 2x year over year. Across the board, the company in its latest quarter and in the first three quarters of 2024 have performed much better than expected. The company's results across the board coming in better than the company thought. And that led the company to upgrade their forecast for 2024. Remember earlier, they said that lending revenue would fall by at least 5% for 2024. They recently updated that to say that it's at least going to be flat. And so it could be, it could be flat or it could increase by 5%. It could even increase by 10%. And that's a big change from forecasting at least 5% decrease to now forecasting at least break even or perhaps even better than that. So the management team saying that they achieved strong performance across all lending products to achieve record $6.3 billion of loan volume with $392 million in adjusted net revenue, which was up 14% year over year. Interestingly, this part in the light purple here that I've highlighted, I disagree with. So let me share what, what management said, and then let me share why I dis disagree. So the management, the CEO, saying that looking back at the progress they've made over the last several years, it's fair to say that SoFi is battle-tested given the scale, profitability, and growth they've recorded for the company in 2024 with their largest and most profitable business lending barely growing. It should now be crystal clear that SoFi can drive sustained growth across the cycle, across the cycle. So in other words, what SoFi is saying is that we've been tested, we've been through difficult times, and we can drive sustained growth across the cycle, which means we can grow our business when the economy is growing, and we can grow our business when the economy is not growing, or in other words, when the economy is in a recession. And that's the part I disagree with. I disagree that SoFi has been battled. Well, I, I mean, yes, you can, you can say that they've been tested through battle. They've been through unprecedented times here since 2020, the onset of the pandemic, really, and the government response to the pandemic with the fiscal stimulus and the changes to student lending and student loans. All of that were big hits to the company's business and fighting through that, growing through that. Yes, you can give them credit for that. Kudos to management for getting through that. But the part where they can drive sustained growth across the cycle, I'm not convinced with yet, right? Um, 2020 and the short-lived recession that happened in response to the pandemic 
wasn't a full-fledged recession. The government response and the fiscal stimulus that came back was offsetting a lot of the difficulties that SoFi would have gone through in a typical recession where people lose their jobs and remain unemployed for an extended period of time. And of course, when people are unemployed for an extended period of time, they go through their savings and then they start to default on their loans. That's the part that SoFi didn't go through. The recession was so short-lived and the government response was so quick that people didn't remain unemployed and face those difficulties that they would during a typical recession. So I don't think that SoFi investors can feel comfortable or at least not crystal clear that they can drive that kind of growth across the cycle. It's definitely not crystal clear. Now, don't get me wrong here. I'm still, you know, I'm bullish on SoFi stock. I think the business is on the right path. However, I don't agree with this statement here. I don't agree that investors can be this confident with SoFi. You can't feel that because they didn't go through a recession. They didn't go through a typical recession where unemployment jumped for an extended period and default rates increased. Actually, default rates on loans during the pandemic hit historic lows. They were at record lows. It was the opposite of what happens during a typical change in macroeconomic growth. And so they didn't actually go through that. They didn't go through that period of people's balance sheet worsening as economic growth slows and reverses. If or when they do, go through a typical recession where unemployment rises and people start defaulting on their loans and SoFi survives that time and grows during that time and demonstrates increasing profit during that time, then I would agree with this statement. And I would say, okay, SoFi has proven they've gone through a recession where people lost jobs and there was hundreds of thousands of job losses for a couple of months and people defaulted on their loans at an increasing rate, but SoFi survived that, partly because they gained market share during that time and partly because of their focus on higher quality borrowers paid off during that time. And I can say, okay, now we can feel comfortable, but not just yet, not just yet. So yes, I agree. Business is doing very well. 2024 is going much better than expected. And that's great news for SoFi stock investors. I've had the stock rated as a buy all year long in 2024. But I think the CEO is getting a little bit ahead here, getting a little bit or trying to get credit for this particular part of its business a little too early, in my opinion. Hey, everyone. If you like watching my videos, then I've added a great complimentary product just for you. I've created a book, I've written a book that's available for sale now that highlights my six-step investing framework. Even if you don't follow that investing framework, just reading it and knowing how I evaluate stocks will make it a lot more interesting and informative to watch my videos. I've added the link in the description below.